Greetings and welcome to Noble Fates. I'm Catherine of Sky. Uh, first of all, a huge, huge thank you uh, to the developers for giving me a key to play this game for you. I was really intrigued. Somebody actually asked me about it and uh, I'm like, hey, this case looks like a game you might enjoy. And I'm like, okay, let me try it out. And uh, so here we're going to go. It's a colony builder, kind of along the lines of RimWorld because it's got a lot of like storytelling in it. Um, and I've practiced this game a little bit uh, for a few hours and I just want to kind of share what I found out with you. So let's just go ahead and start a new game. We are going to enable the tutorial because it has some kind of like important points that I think are worth making and I don't want to forget anything. Um, but basically we are a demigod and apparently we have not been a successful one and we need to start a village of our own, our own kingdom and prove our metal as a uh, as a demigod in a far far away land mortals vie for control over a physical plane of existence a collection of gods govern this plane striving for balance and sharing their powers with those they deem worthy Denizens of other planes stick their hands and claws in for anything from pleasure to power, support to domination. I like this whole like kind of devilly place. It's kind of cool. <laughs> the animations are great, by the way. I like them. You are Contra, a demigod with the power to influence and control mortals. Though still a novice, you seek to earn lasting recognition through the creation of the mightiest of all kingdoms. You haven't had much luck so far. Yeah, you can see <laughs> this is very 1066, you know? <laughs> Jeez. This is Kieran. It's so boring here. Feels like I've been stuck in this smelly corpse for ages. Who knew the sea nightmares were so skilled at archery? Wait, someone's coming. Recently, four mortals, Zack, Ruff, Slurper, and Merc, deserted the Numb Rangers to seek a new beginning. Okay, so these are, by the way, these names are randomly generated. The test game that I did, they I had different names of the people, and they deserted the Sugoi Sheep. So we're, they deserted the Numb Rangers. This is good. With your help, one will be crowned king or queen of a new kingdom this very day. This is Zach Ruff. Why did you leave the Numb Rangers? I had no choice. Papa Toe didn't like human skin. <laughs> I like human skin. <laughs> My issue is that Papa Toe hates helmets. Did I mention people have opinions, like really strong opinions about stuff? Hence the RimWorldy kind of storytelling. Uh, it's kind of interesting. They have opinions on everything, like from clothing to materials, as you see human skin. There's orc skin, imp skin, and imp meat, and human meat, and other kinds of meat, uh, as well as normal, like, um, foodie stuffs. Merc says, hey, over here. Well, 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 what's this? Looks like we've inherited a crown. Who will wear it? As a Contra, you get to choose who will lead your new kingdom. You'll have a special connection with your ruler, including the ability to control them directly. Choose wisely. Those with strong negative feelings towards your new ruler will not join your kingdom. But don't worry too much about it. Mortals are replaceable. Yeah, sort of. Okay, so let's see. Strong opinions we have here. Um, he likes boots, but does not like orc leather or raw imp. That's rough. Okay, so let's see. I want to choose somebody with decent skills. I also want to choose somebody who is not, like, hated by other people. Let's see. Do we have... It doesn't look like they are particularly annoyed with anybody else. You can see that they have genders as well and alignments. Alignment is like good and evil. It doesn't look like any of them have anything other than neutral alignment and they're all non-binary. Oh no, wait, this one is male. Okay. All right. So let's see, do we have, let's see, this person likes building, logging, farming. It doesn't really matter because if they all follow the ruler, then all of them will bring their skills. So that's pretty great. So let's see. Um, I think it really doesn't matter necessarily other than 
I think because the ruler deals with a lot of other people, it's good to have strong opinions on a lot of stuff because you can really connect with other people that way. All right. And if you have negative opinions, sometimes that agrees with the, uh, I'll show you. Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna choose Ruff. Ruff is going to be our ruler, I believe. Okay, me, click anywhere. Ruff, really? I won't follow you. Okay, so Merc, Merc is gonna be, let's see, let me think some more. That's really weird. I don't see where, It doesn't show me here where, oh, I guess we can choose not this group if we want to have a new group come by, but it doesn't show here who people dislike. It doesn't show anywhere that I can see anyway that he doesn't like rough. I think we might always have to lose one person. What if we chose Zach? Okay, me. Okay, Zach, really, I won't follow you. I think anyone we choose, one of them is not gonna follow. So I want to choose Ruff because he has these strong opinions. I think that's going to help us, actually. Okay, so, all right, Merc is going to desert us. Yes, Ruff is the ruler. These are weird names. <laughs> really weird names. Oh, my God. All right, yeah, let's go. Woo! Henceforth, call me Warden Ruff. All right, sure. All hail, Warden Ruff. Except. Hail. Thank you, thank you. We shall be known as the Clip Knuckles. <laughs> All right, sure. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> the random names in this game are really crazy. Fine, I see how it is. That rock over there would make a better ruler. Hey, I'm out of here and taking my share of the supplies with me. Okay, so first decision here. One second, Merc. So yes, with supplies, we get happy reactions because I guess the other guys do like uh, Merc. Um, without supplies, they have down down unhappiness there. Reactions, no detain, no execute Mark. Merc, Merc. I think we're going to let him leave. It's okay. We can get more supplies. Actually, never mind. Go ahead. Like, go. Leave. We wish you luck on your further adventures. All right. Cool. Merc. Sure, thanks. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go. We get we have stuff. Okay. All right. Noble Fates includes a guided experience to help new players start a kingdom that is more likely to succeed. With it, your kingdom will experience a soft ramp into the normal experience as you progress over the first hour or two. This is how if you're a first time playing, we recommend you start with it. Okay, let's do it because it's got some helpful like key combos and stuff like that that I might have forgotten. All right. So we explore our surroundings. We have a, a big space here. We have a whole kingdom to go with. Our, our food is over here. What I want to do is find kind of a nice, this looks like a nice little plateau where we can kind of start off with. New object, new objective, select something. All right, so you can select various things. You can actually double click to select all the things. What I'm doing is selecting all the tree stumps and just telling them to gather. So this is about 229 wood, which is nice. We can also select trees and have them cut these trees as well. But I wanna have a nice open space where we can start building a building for our people to live in. And then um, we can also build some farming as well. So let's see, we'll go space to pause and space to resume. Halt the passage of time. I love that, that uh, quest name, that's perfect. We'll need the wood to build shelter. Best, best buffest. <laughs> buffest is one of their like uh, excited words to say. I don't really know what to call it, but it's weird. Best buffest, yes. We're, we're the buffest people there are, I guess. Of course. Okay. To start, I've marked a few nearby trees. Issue the cut command and we'll take them down. Okay. Yes. We have done that. We can cut them. This has got a, a variety of like interactions within the UI, which I find interesting compared to other games. So here we can do this. We can press E to cut it or we can just like tick the box if we want to. That's going to come in important later which is, and it's kind of cool. We'll need shelter if we're to survive best buffest. Oh, so he's the best buffest. This is like uh, your highness, I guess. 
Makes sense. Okay. If you lay out the plans for a building, I'll build it. It's probably best to start modest, something like, say, four by four. That'll give us space for our stuff and some beds. All right. I'm going to make it a tiny bit bigger than that, I think. So we have the build menu. One thing that I would love to see in the build menu here is right click to go back. I don't like to have to like click this little thingy and escape goes all the way out of the menu. So I, I would love to see like, okay, so we're going to start with, I think we're going to do five by five. Let's see. Five by five is there. Maybe six by six. Yeah, let's do six by six. I want to put a table in the middle for like, um, for them to eat and stuff like that. Okay. So let's do also, so structure at walls. We'll be able to make this. This is not a problem. We we're going to have tons of wood, so not, not an issue. Okay. Place a door. Let's go back and place a door. There we go. Make everything out of wood for now because we don't have any stone. I'm going to go ahead and put two doors. And then we do a roof, which is kind of cool as well. Structure, roofs, straw is actually made out of wood. You see the ingredients at the bottom there, are three wood. Okay, good. So there we go. And like each of these items, which is kind of interesting, has like a prestige value, potential zero to two, expected zero to one. Um, so, okay, so wrap up the shelter, access visibility, bottom right, and hide the roofs, which is there. Okay. There we go. Okay. So we're good. We're good. We're good. All right. Cool. So now our people are, they are gathering the wood. So these people, I don't know why they're just standing there. I guess jobs, they may not have abilities to do stuff, which is why they're not doing anything. However, okay. Back to normal. Let's press two. Nice speed controls. It's uh one, two, three, four is the highest and on, uh, uh, space is pause, which I like a lot. Um, I also want them, the uh, non non builder people, to start collecting. Uh, cotton is good. Cotton is really great, actually. This is so cool. So what I've done is I'm just selecting an area with a box. Just click on the ground and drag, and we're gonna select copper, and we're gonna say gather. We can either press E or click this. The second box is to rush things. So if we want them to hurry stuff up, we just click in that box. It's going to give us a, um, a tutorial for that. But I also want to select these cotton bushes. There we go. And we're going to uh, also forage those. You can forage them or cutting them will destroy them. But we want them to keep on blooming for us. So we're just going to keep um, foraging them instead of like cutting them down completely. Okay, so we're going to do furniture and beds. We want our people to have... Okay, so these have much higher prestige, but we need building two for that. We don't have... I guess we don't have anybody with building two. Let's just look at our... Oh, we don't have the looky thing yet. Okay, it's okay. We'll get there eventually. So Q and E to rotate. I wish we just could do R for that. I really am a big fan of R. We're going to put in a whole row of beds because eventually we're going to get visitors that will want to stay overnight with us. Okay, and then rush construction. Let's do that. You can click this. And then the second box is always the rush command, which is a Znock there. So, okay, cool. So I also want to harvest this bush of its berries. Um, it looks like we're getting a lot of stuff. Where's the stone help? One thing that I would love to see is like the ability to find oh there's some corn here that's nice okay corn stalk e bushes uh also e okay one thing i would love to see is like a a way to find something like find nearest stone on the map so i think this is our nearest stone select stone we're gonna e at that as well uh, because in the winter time, like these are very white looking and the cotton is also very white looking. Really difficult to find that white looking stuff in the winter time because there's snow. So fallen log E. Let's get the stone E. And we want to get the copper E. Okay, good. So this is all getting lots of gathering going to happen here. All right, so we're going to place a stockpile. Now this is important to place it inside because... Like RimWorld, stuff will, um, it will become unhappy. It will die off, basically. Stuff will die. All right, so let's just place this 
here for now. Okay, and then we're gonna have to, we wanna allow items. We're gonna just allow all. Now I have tried um, with storing like stone and copper outside, but it still degrades. So you, so once it's mined, it has to be stored somewhere. Otherwise it degrades. Let's see if I can find something that is corn. Oh yeah, here we go, durability right there. Pardon me, I just pressed the sneeze. I know some people will yell at me for that. All right, so lighting, let's build some lighting. Walls, okay, torch, walls. Okay, so let's, we have one wall torch. Let's build another one. Let's build a few of them. I'm gonna build them inside, there we go. Okay, very nice. And then I also wanna build some decor if we can. We have some seasonal decor, which is really nice. We get prestige from this, which is really great. Prestige is good because other people are gonna to want to join our colony based on prestige. Okay, so let's find Zach. Okay, Zach has leveled up. So he has this little chevron. Uh, and so if we click the thing, I, I also don't understand why we need to click this thing. This confuses me. Um, I don't know why they don't like level up automatically. There is a point where when they get to level five, they get to choose a bonus. So I get that part of it, but I feel like it should be once they hit level five, then we should see the level up. Maybe it's so that we actually see what skills they have or something. Cause as they level up, okay, so Slurper, let's see what he's gonna get on level up. Okay, so level up and he gets, or they get, uh, max health up, melee, mining, building, foraging is also up, which is nice. All right, so now we're gonna build crafting tables. <clears throat> Let's do this. Let's get, it's under work, benches. So I wanna build a crafting table. Again, E and Q to rotate. I would just prefer R to rotate in one direction. Butcher is also good. Uh, all right, we'll put the butcher table in here. We're also gonna put in a, let's see, the stove and the forge and the foundry are special. They need a heat source. So I'm gonna put them here. Stove, foundry. Wait, is that clicked? Is that a foundry? No, that's a butcher. Go away. Okay, apparently I can't build these yet. Okay, so we're gonna unclick that. Uh, there we go. No build. Uh, I would like an alternate thing. Like if we could press delete, that would be great. Instead of having to untick that because that, that was a little bit of like a mental leap. Like, okay, we have to untick the build button. Uh, it's not impossible to like figure out, but I think for new players, pressing delete would also be better, like, or more like, I don't know, something, more something. It, it would be more something. Okay, double click a portrait to jump to a person. All right, so there's rough. All right, good, good, good. Things are happening. Ruff is doing stuff. One of the things I would love to see is an ability to follow them, which I haven't seen yet. Like I can't, I haven't found a button to like follow them as they're walking around rather than just jumping to them all the time. Okay, right, look, click a, a location to go to. Okay, so let's click Ruff and we'll go to where? Let's just have him pick up this piece of copper. Go to copper, store copper, assign. Okay. Oh, whoops, I didn't do the right thing. I just told him to do stuff. Inst oh, cool, They he gathers multiple items. That's awesome. I didn't know that they did that. Okay, cool. Here, I'll just do a go-to there. Okay, so we did a go-to, there we go. So got rid of the tutorial, basically. Okay, so right now, uh, we're not seeing their relationships right now. But we have many kinds of things. We have all kinds of inventory, including what they're wearing and what they're carrying. We have needs, we have vitals, uh, jobs. This is what they're good at, relationships. Likes Warden Ruff, dislikes Papa Toe. Okay, history, um, properties. Okay, so we're gonna find out more about this as the game reveals more stuff. Cause at some point we're gonna get like a, um, a little bar under their names showing both their, uh, I think it's HP or vitality or something like that. And also a relationship bar to our ruler who is rough. That sounded really not ideal. <laughs> okay. Anyway, we're having nighttime right now and um, 
I guess the other people are sleeping outside. I don't think these have been completed yet, which is really not good. I was going to say really rough, but uh, yeah, apparently they didn't work on those. <laughs> Uh, we'll also be able to see their schedule and their um, like priority tasks and stuff like that. Okay, so we have year two of spring, first day of 396. Okay, so use advanced selection techniques, shift and left click, add to selection. Okay, so we can do this. We've done it. Okay, yay. We can do that to like select several trees. You know, like I want to select the biggest trees and then we can just press E to cut. Okay. So there we're good. And we're just kind of waiting for them to wake up. Hello, Ruff. Dude. Guess he's still working on the sleep part. Okay, it's fine. All right, looks like that's an interesting one. Light, I like that. Eating overripe meal beans. So now I would like them to kind of like gather the stuff and put it away. But we do have animals as well. Like there's a doe here. You can tame some of them. And hunt others. Like boars you cannot tame, but does you can. Uh, and different animals. There's also cows that I've seen. And um, the male deer as well. I guess that's a buck. Alright, lots of... Okay, Zach can level up again. This is great. Apparently, Ruff is not doing anything because he's not leveling up. <laughs> okay, here we go. Max health, melee... Cooking, building, crafting, farming. There we go. And here we are. All right. Fantastic. All right. Ruff can level up. All right. So finally, Ruff is leveling up here. Okay. Level two. Building, cleaning, logging, foraging, and ranching. Got those skills going. That's great. That's, those are kind of good skills. Let's see. Let's see the other ones. Let's see jobs. So Ruff doesn't really have much in the skill department, <laughs> alas. <laughs> so, but that's okay. Ranching is good. Ranching is good. Zach has much more skill in other things, which is pretty nice. So the, the, the green ones are the ones they like, not necessarily the ones they're great at. So they have, they have opinions on everything, these people. Okay, so here we go. Slurper, let's level them up. Also, you can wait on leveling them, which I probably am going to start to do. Like, I want to wait till they have more levels than just one at a time. Okay, Slurp says, So we're finally caught up to you, Warden Ruff. Did you think Papa Toe was going to let you leave the Numb Rangers without consequences? Oh, this is not Slurper. This is just Slurp. He's a noble of the Numb Rangers. We won't rest until you pay for your treachery. Prepare to die. Okay, so I'm going to pause. So the Numb Rangers are raiding us. Oh, wait. Pause, pause, please. Pause. Okay. So now we're given instructions on how to uh, kind of attack these people. So we can select members of our kingdom. I The easiest way, I wish you could do like a, a selection box around this, but you can't. You have to just shift click them all. And then you press T to enlist them. All right, and then you go to, you can do this push hostiles, and then you do hold position. I don't know what that's about, or right click to attack the target. I think that's what we want to go for. We don't really care about holding position. We want them to go and attack this target. I don't know where Slurper is. He should get revenge on his uh, his buddy with the same name. The Numb Rangers are retreating. Yeah, they retreated right into the grave. Okay. So now we have this uh, person. We can do a couple of different things. So issue loot command or order. What we're going to do is loot and butcher him, right? No available butcher table. We'll get it in a second. Hold on. Uh, so anyway, this is kind of cool that like in RimWorld, it's always like you have to do one thing and then another thing. Um, or, well, I guess they do have automatic things, but I think this is cool that it like lists everything that you can do. Now make sure that you un, -in un enlist your people or delist your people or whatever the heck it's called, um, because it's important because you have to free them to do their automatic duties. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to build that table on priority and also build this table on priority, the crafting table. 
So left click, oh, you'll notice a gear above someone's head when they've been assigned something they don't know how to do yet. This is an interesting feature of this game. It may look like they're idle, but rest assured they're hard at work figuring it out. So left click on the character to check their progress. All right, so we're gonna do that. So Zach, learning the butcher table. So they have to learn it before they can build it, which is kind of an interesting idea. I like that. So we also have left click the belongings tool. So we can see who has what, and um, we can also see their prestige and overview for their wants and ambition. So there we go. Okay, your kingdom. We have, okay, prestige. Does it give us like a, uh, I guess it doesn't give us a total, does it? Your kingdom, hello? Also, if you don't see the bottom section of this in your game, um, what I did is I increased the uh, size of the UI on mine, but 2X seems to put some buttons at the bottom, like on the trade window and stuff like that. But yeah, I don't see, do we have a total for prestige? Oh, maybe they all have, why, why does this number keep changing? Because this is kingdom, right? This is not individual, uh, unless this is how they like, observe the thing i don't know it's weird because i think i believe that the kingdom has its own prestige uh which is separate from each person they also have a prestige level all right so crafting table let's add a task let's make gear uh cloth tunic let's make i don't know like five of them okay close now we can look and see what everybody is wearing. So they, he's wearing a cloth tunic. Zach is also wearing a cloth tunic. And then we have Slurper is also wearing a cloth tunic. So we don't need them to clothe our people, uh, but we do need them for trade because there will be people around here that wanna trade with us. So, oh wow, blood clean. Slurper needs to be butchered. Or slurp, not slurper. We have slurper. Slurp, slurp is the interloper or her. Okay. Um, I also want to make a new objective minor. Okay, so examine the character sheet esteem tab. Okay, so let's look at the esteem tab here. All right, and then we see likes himself eating overripe meal beans, warden of the clip knuckles. Okay, I gave old crown to me. <laughs> okay, tired, I prefer medium kingdoms, so they're unhappy because this kingdom is probably too small for them right now. Okay, we're doing good otherwise. Okay, now we now have beds, which is gonna make our people a little bit more, uh, more good, more happy. Also, I don't know I guess it should, they just, these are like all of the effects on them right now. Wow, this is rough. Warden Ruff doesn't like orc skin. One year of unhappiness for that, jeez. Okay, and here we also see how much they like the ruler. That blue bar is how much they like the ruler. We wanna keep that as high as possible because otherwise people can actually desert. So we're gonna speak to Zach. Ask what's on their mind. What's on your mind? I hate Papa Toe because the Numb Rangers are blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I hate Papa Toe also because they declared war on me. There's also other like these. What else can you tell me doesn't give any benefit? So we're going to just say this one. When you have multiple thumbs up, it's a happy time. And you get these like increases in uh, rep kind of thing. Okay. This is another reason why I wanted Ruff to be the ruler because they have these really strong opinions. All right, so Zach now loves Ruff. So that's good. Okay, I mix, I love our kingdom, hooray. Okay, so happy days are here again. Now let's go ahead and choose a different option so you can see what they do. So what else can you tell me about the Clip Knuckles? I joined them, yay. I love myself, Zach is happy, okay. You can also do what else is on your mind, what else can you tell me? Um, so this is a mini game that can get really, really annoying, actually. So we're going to end the conversation there. Uh, meanwhile, I want them to talk to Slurper, who's asleep. It's okay, though. We'll just wake him up. 
So ask him what's on their mind. I'm tired, probably. <laughs> I like you because I'm excited for a new beginning. Uh, all right. So, yay. I like you because you're a noble of our kingdom. Hooray. Uh, and as you can see, the um, reactions might also affect the other people. Uh, I don't know if it's like in the entire area or just in the room. But yeah, there are a few things worse than the war, but that's okay. All right, so we just want to get those folks to max or close enough. Okay, there we go. Let's just go with this three thumbs up there. Okay, so we want to keep our people happy. So that seems good. Okay, and if you are curious about like the advanced topics, those are, you can ask about stuff, ask about alignments. What can you tell me about alignments? Morality has no place in decision making. I am neutral. We all know that they're all neutral, so it's yay. Okay, so there we go. I was hungry. Okay, so we're just gonna say back, back. Okay, and conversation. So this is, it, it seems okay now, but when you're trying to like convince like visitors to come to your colony, it gets extremely tedious and hopefully we'll have some visitors so we can experience this tediousness. Wait, that didn't sound quite right, but, <laughs> but yes, okay. All right, I wanna build a second floor here. Um, so let's start off with a uh, structure stairs. What's really nice is you can actually create uh, curved staircases. I love that. But for now, we're just going to build a staircase here. Okay. And then later, we're going to get the ability to see the different levels. Okay. So we have two people from Mims Wanderers. Doesn't care about Warden Ruff. Neither of them. So this person has Prestige 15 and Ambition 7. This one is Prestige 16 and Ambition 10. Now we can trade with these people. And see what they have. They've got a bronze axe, which is nice. Um, one of the things that we can't see, as far as I can tell, is the prestige level of the items they have. I think that might be related to rarity, but I'm not quite sure. Because uh, at some point, you're going to get a quest for like people from your village, like, hey, the ruler wants a one prestige item, you know, to to hold. Okay, we're going to buy the pumpkin seeds because that's awesome. Uh, they also have ripe meal beans. I don't think we need that. I think there's still plenty of berries around. Breacher skin greaves. See, they also have um, particular affects on them. Like these have minus 3% move speed. You can also get ones that give skill points, which is kind of great. Okay, so this is going to cost us three coins. We have 12 coins, but what if we traded them? Hooray! Let's go ahead and trade them a cloth tunic and orc skin greaves. That's four, so we're they're giving us one coin. Um, we can also do like maybe cloth shoes. Sure. And we have some raw orc. That's nice. Okay. So five. That's good. So let's offer a trade. They're giving us two of their four coins. I guess we could. No, I think we're good. I don't want to sell anything else. All right. So offer trade. Yes. All right. So there we go. Okay. Yay. So we're going to go ahead and knock that up. Yeah. Okay, so now if we want to try to convince one of these people to join us, we want to go and find these people. So we click them, get our ruler and right click them and say, speak to Burke. Okay, so what's on your mind? Also, the game has to be running in order for you to talk to them. Okay, I don't like cooked imp. All right, so you see Burke is like very in the middle right here. Robes are bunk. I don't like robes. Okay, great. <laughs> I just mind me some cooked human. I don't like cooked human. It's clumsy. Visiting is to my liking. I like visiting. Okay, I just like me some visiting. So now he likes rough. Grappling hooks. Okay, I like grappling hooks. And that also makes Mims happier. So that's good. It's dirty where I am. I'm excited for a new beginning. So Slurper and Ruff are going to get happy here about this. Oh boy, your kingdom. Um, What else is on your mind? Innocence is overrated. <laughs> okay. I'm neutral. Now, I'm not going to do this one because look at the massive negative effect on Burke and Mims. So I'm just going to say, what else is on your mind? 
Please continue. There are a few things worse than hunting, but only a few. <laughs> okay? I don't like hunting. Sure. So the goal here is to get Burke happy enough to love us. I don't want to eat. I don't like cooked pork. Okay, Zach will be slightly unhappy, but I think it's worth it for this. Click, click, click. Okay. Don't you just love raw orc? I love raw... Oh, Zach will be very unhappy. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to say what else is on your mind here. So this is what I mean by the minigame gets really tedious. Um, Burke. Okay, sure. And it's like, you want to get them to love you. That's kind of what you're going for. But man, it is just like... Many questions and answers that really don't have a lot of... I don't know. It's... I, I just... I don't find it very interesting. I don't, I don't like this part of the game. I really dislike this part of the game. This whole, like, talk on repeat. And it's a mini game. You have to choose stuff. I know that's one of the major features of the game, but I wish it was implemented in a different uh, way. Okay, Burke and Zach. Apparently Zach does not like Burke here. That's unfortunate. Okay, so let's see. Um, I don't care about orcs. Sure. Okay, one up. Loves rough. Okay, so now that Burke loves me, uh, I want to say... Oh, okay. Raw human, sure. That's fine. All right, we're in the love section here. Cows are nice. Uh, I'm going to go back and then say, ask them to join. Would you be willing to join the Clip Knuckles? Yes, I'm happy to swear allegiance to you and join the Clip Knuckles. Okay, so we're going to end that conversation. Best buffest acquiring items high in value will allow us to attract and satisfy powerful nobles. Items of sufficient quality may even be blessed with magnificent powers by the gods. Okay, while, we're, while, we, while we'll acquire numerous things through looting and trading, crafting our own items is a sure path to power. Suffice it to say that we should follow the ABCs of crafting. Always be crafting. Always, always be, be conning? No, crafting. <laughs> crafting things will be help. <laughs> I love that. Always be casting as in like, you know, MMOs. Always be casting. Uh, crafting things will help me improve my skills, allowing me to learn to craft more advanced items. Our crafting pipeline depends upon a steady supply of resources. So make sure we're logging, foraging, hunting, and mining as needed. Anyway, I've taken enough of your time. Cue things up and I'll get to work. Great. Thanks. Okay, great. So we now have a new person. So we now have Burke. Uh, so let's see if we can talk to Mims. Where is Mims? Okay, Mims, you are next on our radar of... Oh, are you stealing our logs? Hello? Speak to Mims. What are you doing with our logs? Yo, that's not cool. What you doing, Mims? Hmm? Confronting you. Okay, so I'm going to talk. Ask what's on your mind. I say that everyone deserves empathy. Uh, what else is on your mind? We don't agree with this. Dang it. Orc skin is skunky. I don't like orc skin. Okay, sure. There are a few things worse than orc skin. Okay, so now we're going to try to upgrade Mims here. Not in the mood for cooked human. I don't really like cooked human. Sure. I could bathe in raw orc. That sounds delightful. I don't care about orcs, sure. Keep in mind some of our people are orcs as well. Okay, there's always time. Okay, I love cooked venison, sure. So again, goal is to get, hopefully, them to love us. And then I'm going to try to invite them over. Now, a lot of the times, they if they have a very high like prestige or ambition, they will not join you if you don't have... Uh, impressive things. Okay, cow leather is fierce. <laughs> okay, what else is on your mind? Vam braces are to my liking. Is that misspelled? I think it should be Vam braces. V A M. But I don't know if that's an alternate spelling or not. Could be. I don't feel strongly about humans. I don't care about humans. Hooray, we both don't care. The liking goes up. All right, sure, we don't like pig leather. 
Isn't deer leather quaint? <laughs> Some of the descriptors are very strange, like quaintness. Okay, so love's rough. Okay, so Mims loves me right now. I'm in need of food. I am hungry too. Okay, so what else can you tell me about food? Nothing. I don't really get sometimes these things like this, so let's ask, let's just level up a little bit more. Sabatons or vanilla? Sure. Okay. They are a bit weird. I like foraging. I think foraging is for losers. What? How does that mean I like foraging? Grappling hooks? Okay. I like grappling hooks. Yeah, let's go. All right, so let's ask Mims if they will join us. Oh boy, Quirises. Okay. Hoplons, Greaves, and Quirises. Ask them to join. Would you be willing to join the Clip Knuckles? Yes, I'm happy to swear allegiance to you and join the Clip Knuckles. N no, Knuckles, not Nuggets. <laughs> Amazingest, I'm worried about our food stores. Let us know if you'd like us to forage. Uh, yes, we will do that. Ah, yes, I'll take care of it. Okay, so... Um, we need to, first of all, let's see, let's select the cotton bushes and we're going to E at those. We want to collect those. Um, those are not food, of course. We're going to do October berries. We're going to, uh, we already have those in, in Q here. Let's get these. Forage these. We should also check out our new, uh, people's skills. Let's see. We can look at Mims. Now Mims, what does Mims do? Mims is crafting, hauling, that's good, Burke. Nursing, logging, hunting, plus plus, dislikes, even though potential is high, that's unfortunate. Uh, all right, let's level up. Let's see, Zach is level four. Okay, let's level up Zach because we'll get to that magic level five. Okay, Zach levels up. All right, level five. All right, we get lots of plus things. Choose an ability. So now we roll, which I have no control over whatsoever. We have things. All right, so we choose ignored ability. Use are untargetable by enemies for 30 minutes. Now that those are 30 minutes in the game, not like real time minutes. Okay, so here we have plus three to building skill for two hours. We have permanent plus two to farming skill. I really am not a fan of these like triggered abilities. I had one where it was like, like instant harvest of a thing, but it really didn't let me select the crop very well. So I wasn't really that impressed with it. So I'm gonna try to go with permanent skills. I feel like those are better for us. Okay, so Slurper has is level three. I'm gonna wait. Do we have like the XP thingy? Hello? Prestige, belongings, opinions, relationships, history. No, we can't see how... We know they're level three, but maybe they'll do two up. Nope, just one. Okay, well, it'll be next time then. So anyway, we have some good skills going on. Now we do have this brand new thingy, but we don't have, unfortunately, the ability to go up and down. I think that's going to be in a second. So let's choose my ruler. We're going to say C. All right, we are now in first person, no third person mode. Okay, so we can interact with E. Okay, end conversation. Open interface. Now that is a tilde, which is usually to the left of one on a US keyboard. On a German keyboard, it's to the left of um, enter, but I have a Norwegian keyboard. So it is the E uh key, uh, which is three to the left of enter. So C to stop controlling and there we go. Nice. Yes, we have stuff going on, all kinds of stuff. All right, I'm gonna let them finish these. These are our currently queued tasks that we have going on in the world. Um, so I want them to do some of those before we continue too far. We're gonna go ahead and have them build this. I want them to make this wreath to make our building more, um, have more prestige. I'm gonna go to furniture tables. I want to make a small table for them to sit down at. Okay, let's see. We can do, maybe we do a table there. Since it seems to take up just a 
portion of a square instead of the whole square, which is kind of cool. Alright, and then you get random stools, which is nice. I like that. It's very, like, kind of bric-a-brac there. Now we can do a heat source, but heat is kind of outside for now because we find out that um, if you put a fire inside, it says it doesn't work. So let's put the fire outside. And then I want to build some work benches here. So let's build the stove. This needs a, a heat source to work. So I'm going to put it right next to the fire. So let's see. Let's go here. I do love how clearly the position of the uh, the worker is indicated like on these workbenches and stuff. I think that's really useful. You see there's like a little cylinder. That's where the person approaches the workbench. All right. We also could put in a tannery. Now this one, weirdly enough, does not have an indicator like that. Okay. So cotton bush. These are all... We need to harvest all of those if we can, because we need more cotton. All right, have they made stuff? They have made some stuff. They haven't made a lot though. It's like, yo, hello. So we do have two new things. This one gives us plus one melee. This one gives plus crafting. So let's find out who is best at crafting right now. Let's see jobs, crafting is at the very top. Two, Mims has two, zero, one, and zero. So Mims, I want Mims to take up this crafting tunic. Okay, and then Melee, who is working our let's see, hunting, gar guarding, nursing, firefighting, mining, ranching. I guess it's going to be guarding Melee. Okay, yeah. Okay, so anybody is good at guarding. Zero zero three plus so zach is good at guarding so i'm gonna put zach in charge of this uh, tunic or <laughs> better better way to say it is get him to wear it yay okay right so these berries they need to be stored so mims is working the crafting right now which is great but yeah i wish they would have like instant level ups it feels like a weird like why are we waiting for this what does it help us you know I feel like they should level up automatically. Um, all right, so yay. So all right, we have many tasks for them to do. They're not doing much right now though. I'm gonna go ahead and just knock all these things here. Just like, um, yeah, there we go. Oh wow, they're just, they are so clu- Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, amazingest. Winter is on its way. By my estimation, we're nearing the end of spring, which has lasted three years. That means that summer, fall, and winter will each last three years. Given that each year is made up of two days, that means we have around seven days to stock up before fall gets here. So each year is made of two days. I'm so confused by this. Okay, so each season is three years, and each year has two days. Okay, sure. There are several paths to stocking up. I suggest picking the one that most aligns with our yeah. situation. We can continue to gather wild foods or grow our own by farming until the end of summer. Tame animals and make use of their natural products or hunt, butcher, and eat them raw or cooked. We can trade with visitors, some of whom may offer us excellent deals. Or take what we want with force from whomever we choose. Sure, yes. All that matters is that we do something, lest we suffer the horrible fate of starving to death. Oh, and one more thing. Food will decay over time, especially when left outdoors. So proper storage is critical. All right, I leave it in your hands. Understood. Thanks for this. Okay, so let's unsee this. There we go. I meant C as in the, the letter C, because that's the, the hot key. Not un, unsee as in like, like our eyes could refrain from seeing or something. That would be weird. Okay, so let's see. Can I grab... I want to select corn stalks. Yes, and we're going to E those. Let's select berries. Select October berry bushes, which it doesn't even list how many there are. Okay, and then E that. There are... Doesn't tell us how many there are. Maybe there's just one. Shouldn't be just one, though. Anyway, 
we have, this is great. We started out with five people. So left click the jobs tool. All right, so here we have like a sort of like RimWorld-esque kind of schedule thing, uh, which shows us their current skill and the priority that they have in each of these here. So firefighting number one, nursing number two, and so you can actually change them here um, or just put it on autonomous, which I'm finding easier because it's a lot to take in. Uh, we also have limits, which is interesting. I don't know what that means, but um, yeah, priorities and limits. There we go. And then we have a schedule, which is very RimWorld-esque as well. You can tell them all to sleep at the same time or work at the same time. I don't know the optimal amount of sleep that they need to get or anything like that. So, you know, that's something that you'll kind of have to figure out. All right, so we also are going to build a farm, which we don't have access to just yet, but we'll get it soon, very soon. Okay, people are still figuring out these stools. Apparently that is the most bizarre concept they have ever come across. So they're thinking about it. They're like, okay, what's a stool? This is hard. <laughs> it's so strange. Ay, ay, ay. All right, do we have enough, like... Uh, oh, okay, of the stewer... All right, basher's cloth tunic, and then we have the guard. All right, so the stewer is a cook. So which one is that? Is that this one? Uh, this is the cooking one. All right, so who's a cooker? Who cooks? You know, you're a zero cook. Zero, Zach is one. Burke. Burke has a Potential very low. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. This is not good. Nobody cooks. This is not good. So weird that they like like stuff, but they have zero potential in it. It's like, well, never mind. I'm not going to say. All right. Left click work tool. Choose farm. All right. So now we can build farms. Now these farms do not have to be big. They do not have to. I, I made like a farm like this at some point and it was like way, 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 way too big. So I'm just going to do four squares of farms for now, because what they'll do is they will plow the whole thing, even if they don't have enough seeds for it. And that takes a while. So let's just choose. Let's see. This one is corn. Uh, let's make this one to be cotton. This one will be meal beans. I don't know if we have seeds for all of these October berries, and then we'll have pumpkins over here. Now, I know we have some kinds of seeds here. We have... Uh, corn seeds, we have 18 of those. We have, um, is there any more seeds? October berry seeds, we have nine. Pumpkin seeds, eight. All right, so we're good. We're pretty good. Uh, also, I think I'll make some more, let's see, let's make some cloth leggings. Let's make like five of them. Because we can, we can uh, trade those for coins. Uh, if they, but what we want really is to get better skills and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some deer. So let's tame those deer, uh, some of them at least. And, uh, yeah, see what, see how we can get on with this. We, do, we always want to make sure we have enough wood, by the way, to, to build stuff. We haven't gotten the ability to go up a level, but we're going to get that soon. So, all right, let's go. So we have Burke here. You are overview. I guess we should level them up as soon as possible so they increase their skill. But I just don't like going through this screen. It just takes a long time. Crafting plus one. Okay, excellent. That's great. Great, very great of you. Hooray. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this as well. Oh no, not that. It's not C. No, it's the wrong one. No. All right. Where where is our colony here it is okay so i'm just gonna e at that i forgot it's it's an e not a c also you can dig downward um okay we have a dig tool so if we wanted to have a basement we could so if i do something like if we want to do like this i don't know right now if there's a benefit to having stuff in a basement as in like for food to not spoil um but you can see this food is spoiling but not very fast it's very slow because oh wait it's it is outdoors darn it i guess i haven't built the roof yet what's going on with the roof guys hello where is roof hello no that's not 
There it is. Why is it still... I don't get it. Oh, maybe because of the stairs? Oh, that's annoying. Okay. All right. That's weird. Um, all right. Let's go back. Roof, roof, roof. There we go. All right. Here we go. But it would be nice to dig down and, uh, and get into this area here. Okay, so we have new visitors. We have Jeffrey from the Michael Wanderers, Marjorie and Michael. Let's see what they have for trade. Oh, so here's a, a stone axe for the tender, but it doesn't tell us what, oh, it does say one ranching. Oh, that's cool. All right, deer hide boots, logging, melee. Oh, plus two ranching. That might be worth getting. It's 132. We definitely can't afford that though. Darn it. All right, so let's go ahead and just get pumpkin seeds. I want to just grab some of these. Like, let's get 10 of these maybe. Actually, more. Let's get as many as we can. They're only 0 0.38, 38 cents each. October berries, we could use maybe like 10 of those. There's so many on the map. I don't know if we... Oh, wait, not these. No, no, no. No, no, no. Zero. We want to get the seeds. Eight. Okay, good. They also sell deer hide cotton... Cotton is actually a really good price because like if we have our like cloth tunic, those cost five cotton. So five times 30 cents is 150, but we can sell them a cloth tunic for three, three, three dollars. So I think that works quite nicely. Okay. Breach your skin grease. Now anything that does not have a color is not going to have an extra thing. So... All right, let's get a, we probably want to save that one. Cloth shoes are not needed. Tunic, work skin, copper. All right, so, wow, we're going to have to give them a lot of coins. Four coins. Let's see, this one is low durability. They're not going to give us anything for that. And of course, wood, the regrowable resource is very cheap. So I think what we want to do here is probably just like go with what we got here. I want to get those pumpkin seeds. And that's going to kind of put us down. But what we need to do, let's see, how much cotton do we have? We have 73 cotton. What we need to do is make more stuff immediately. So let's add another task to make. Now we can make all kinds of stuff. Uh, cloth hood, Santa hat, cloth leggings, hide greaves, hide cuirasses, uh, stone axe, wooden hammer. Let me make a couple of stone axes. Uh, and then add gear, wooden hammer. Um, yeah, there we go. With value. Wow. Okay. Those actually cost coins. I'm not really sure how that affects things, but it sounds interesting. Okay, so let's see. Torches, wooden arrows, gear. Let's try to make some hats with maybe some uncommon rarity. It, sees, it shows us 56% chance to get an uncommon item, which is kind of great. So these are three cotton. Santa hats are also three cotton. Let's have people running around with Santa hats. I'm kind of excited about that. I think most of our people don't have... Uh, items like this so let's get that add task gear um now the, the thing with making the hide stuff is we need to have enough hide we have four orc skin and that's all we have for hide i think so if we add let's see gear uh lower hide greaves they cost five hides so we can't even make one one thing uncommon is also five percent so that's not great the durability is kind of the same um except for the lifetime is 36 years on hide uh compared to 27 on cloth and these have armor value whereas the cloth does not Okay, I want to make some short bows as well. I'm going to make three or f let, let's make five of these. There we go. Uh, good. So that they those things can get made over time. I feel like we need to talk to Burke a bit. So hello. Talk to Burke. We need to find out what it's on their mind and do the mini game again. 
Not a fan of the minigame. I like you because I ate raw orc. Okay, great. Mims is also happy about this. Yay. Okay. Isn't our kingdom quaint? Uh, yes, we're excited about this. Okay, very good. I love raw orc. Yay. All right. But what I just noticed is um, that we are out of time for today, alas. So we're going to have to pick this up another day. So anyway, let me know what you think about this game. Uh, if you want me to continue or, or what you feel about things. Um, because I'm really curious what you're thinking about this. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.